Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully loaded the toaster, right? So now in this video, I want to do when you successfully log out, then if you want to display some of the notification, when you successfully log in, if you want to display some of the notification to the user, how can do this work? I want to use some of the toaster alert again. If you go to our page, that is the exercise folder, and that is our toaster CD. And I want to also we have to do we have to use it because of all when you click as a logout, then that is actually redirected to a logging page. Right here, also we have to support our CDN link. That means the toaster CDN link. So I simply loaded that CSS, I copy it, and I have already discussed about that things with you. Right now, we don't need this. I close it and also header we don't need this green profile don't need this if you go to our resources view and there's a auth and that is our logging you can say i have already customized our logging page here also we have to add the same things we have to load that uh, toaster css i simply loaded that toaster css and also we have to take our script i simply copy both of these Okay, simply copy both of these and right now we don't need this anyone locking blade and then that is all that our JS right after that JS I want to do and to paste it great make that sure you add both of this in here now click the save all now if you go to our admin controller into this admin controller I have already created that destroy method right into the destroy method when that will be done and that means when we because I destroy a method will be executed it will be a logout that is authenticated user will be logout and it will be returned redirect to a logging page you can see for the reasons in a logging page i have uploaded and that is updated our css and jss link great so if you want to display the toaster message as i told you before here we have to do we have to pass that notification i simply copy it and now in here that is our locking after that okay after that i want to simply paste it so now notification array i make it as a success okay so that that will be the success whatever i actually choose so i make it as a success all right so here here i have already discussed about it that is our success i want to do to access that success and i want to show some of the message message will be as a logout or user log out successful okay successfully successfully that type of one of the message then that will be displayed now when that will be returned redirect to our logging page here i want to pass with some of the message right so then that will be with with our message will be i have already taken that our message and then alert type in our notification i simply want to do i want to pass that notification okay friends so that's all you have to do now if you click as a save all and now if you go Right now, I want to do until locking, but I refresh it this space and now into locking with the username as a user. And then I put that for the user one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you click as a sign in, right now I'm successfully signing. Okay, so right now I'm successfully signing, which is totally fine. But right now, if you go to that logout, now that should be display. Yes, you can see it's successfully display as a user logout successful. Perfect. And now I want to do when you successfully logged in, I also want to display one other message. So if you want to display it, first of all, you have to understand what exactly that our logging functionality work. If you go to our route list, into the route list, that is our logging. And for the logging actually is happening as in our store method, that is our um, uh, authenticated session controller in our auth folder. So that is actually the responsible for uh, stored this data right first of all i want to do and to go to that auth and authenticated session controller if you go to our project if you go to our controller that is our um, controller auth controller and that is our authenticated session controller and into the authenticated session controller you can see that is our store method so that is the store method is responsible for make that user as a successfully logged in now i want to do i want to load our notification if you go to our admin controllers that will be just like that same i copy it and now in our here after that okay after that i want to do and to paste it so that will be our notification our notification i want to access that message as a user logged in okay, log um login okay so use a login successful so then that will be display that type of one of the message or type will be as a success type. You can use it as an info, warning, whatever you should choose. Right now, I make it as a success type. 
and when that will be successfully done it should be written redirect to our route service provider as a home right as i told you before if you go to that our providers uh, that is in our um, providers and that is our route service provider you can see that is our route service provider into the route service provider that is actually public constant variable as a home then that will be display our dashboard that means it will be written direct to the dashboard and into the dashboard i have already loaded our admin master where i have already loaded that toaster css and the jss right right now we don't need to add anything then here only you have to do when that will be returned redirect to our home dashboard i want to pass that with the notification simple work so after that i want to make it as a with okay with with our notification okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so that's all you have to do now let's check this out click as a save all now if you go to our page i want to refresh it and now to logging with our user again and then password one two three four five six seven eight now if login now that should be display yes you can see it's display as a user login successfully perfect so right now our in when you logging then our successfully display our logging message when it's log out then also display our logout message okay so now you can see it's now display as a user logout successful if you're logging with the kazi and udemy one two three four five now successfully logged in is successfully logging as a user logging successful great so we successfully done all that part for the user profile in our next video i want to also add another part for the change password with some of the validation okay how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video